EMV Records. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bahati. Uh, I am saved, and Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And today, uh, ku special kwangu. I really took a lot of time before, you know, deciding to do this video, and uh, you know, especially, I really did a lot of prayer. And uh, yeah, it's finally time. And you know, in 2013, after I did my first, you know, when God blessed me with my first hit, Mama, uh, God put, can I call it, a, a, you know, it's a burden and a desire to you know, to support my my fellow artist when you appear on a struggle because I'm a person that really struggled <clears throat> before before guys came to know about Bahati, before I did, you know, my first official hits, Mama Machozi Barua. And I Nilkwatuna Ile desire if I can do something that new people will not go through the same thing I, I went through at that time. I was like, you know, God bless me. Now can you bless, I will support more people. And that's when I started the vision, the Eastland's most beloved record label vision. Uh, at such a time, I had really not, you know, gotten my, my, my breakthrough. But in 2015, I chose to start this, you know, and I said, Ma, let me do this. Let me support other people. And I think the first, the first artist that I, re I, I, I supported at that time was, is when I picked Wisdom. At that time, at Wisdom, I went Wisdom, I went Mystic. And uh, my biggest, desire and my biggest vision was just to support can i call them upcoming or rather any artist that is struggling to to get to the top and uh, you know i chose to do this even see at nil kwa nayo do sababu you know kuna artist wako na pesa kuneliko you know in kenya the people who, who are, you know, ahead of me even in terms of money, in terms of a lot of things. But I said, you know, when you're doing something for God, you don't start looking at your pocket, your influence. But I knew the influence that God had given me, or rather that God has given me, was just enough to help other musicians to the top. And... I started doing this 2015, 2016. You know, the people I've supported in 2017, 2018, you know, 2019, and now we're in 2020. And the last, in the last one month, I made a, a really a tough decision. And it was from my heart. And I have taken time to pray for this. And I think it's time. I share with you my people. So in 2020, at least four, four years later, after I officially launched EMB record label, you know, God has really been faithful. You know, I, at times that is when I believe, you know, that God has used the hands of ule mtu itu alikuwa mtaani madhare, you know, na kitu wa baha. And 
God gave me the grace. I, I took, you know, people from scratch, from, you know, grass to grace. And, you know, I did my best. My biggest drive was was kuona tu life ya wase ime change. Uh, of course, ilikuwa ni MB record label. We had contracts. But for me the contracts were not or rather the contracts are not the major thing in 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 my record label thing. Sababu I think I've said this before. In Kenya, unaweza chukua even seven, ten years as a musician without, you know, making a profit. So for me, everyone I took in, nilem chukua ka family. And it doesn't matter, you know, at, at times unajua kujipigia debe ikuangi the best thing, but, you know, I did as much as kuchukua mtu, most of the artists, like every artist, mwenye nilikuwa na saidia, nilikuwa hata na mchukua na mweka kwa drop yangu, you know, because si kila saa nikuwa na pesa ya kushop every week. Na wambia, chukua ile ngu unapenda, chukua ile kiatu unapenda, you know, some of them, mata nilikuwa pia vitu za nyumba, hata saa hii, mingi wame wanakanazo ni vitu za ngu, but, you know, for me it was about changing a life, you know, touching lives and I did the best I could, you know, but uh, even with the years, you know, the four years, uh, I know a lot of fans who so are questions and I always see you online, of course. I, I never reply, but I see you. But, you know, after, after four years of, you know, successfully doing EMB record label, I had to make, uh, you know, a tough decision. And before going there, Still have every reason, but I know most of you and your Mkorada, the things that you have seen and maybe I need to confirm to you. First, like I've always said, to me, EMB record label has never been, you know, has never been a business for me. Pengine, I had contracts because I was hopeful that of course, Niki said, Yamutu, maybe someday Atak was successful. And maybe to Tarudisha, or rather the company Tarudisha, something from the investment. But like I've said, my biggest focus is to help the artists that are going to and maybe for them to support themselves. And as we went on, you know. God has been faithful, Bahati became big, big and bigger. But now, the more uh, you know, most of the artists in the, not in the Kenyan industry, you know, you know, Kenyan industry has the most supportive musicians. But in the gospel, industry you know an industry that you expect to see god an industry that you expect to see you know the real reflection of how christ should be most of these gospel artists they they started thinking now you know it's like bahati is being successful because of emb in be record label. You know, forgetting that <laughs> God I'm working bless me number you know being on you know on the palikwa kwa top ni by God's grace. 
But these gospel artists, you know, wako like, wana feel, ni kama, or rather, some people, most of the people in the gospel industry, and you know, you'll forgive me for this, and because you know yourselves, God will not allow me to, me to mention your names. Wakanda could feel, from me 2015, 2016, 2017, it's like, I'm an artist. Ni ndiyo my success, ni wanani. It's like my money is coming from them. And to fight Bahati, they started kutafuta tunjia of vele wata, wata wasingizia, vele wata nisingizia now. Guys, you know, and to the person watching this, I want you to remember that, you know, these artists were here. And most of these artists, when you were here, when you were here, when you were here, you were here, most of them were Sawa meisha walikuwa na chekelewa na ama artist wa gospel. But all of a sudden because bahati ya mekuchukua, mekubrand, ni mechukua new artist, ni membrand, mtu anza, ana, anaanza kufeel ni kama niki, niki chukua huyu ni mchoche, a fight bahati, bahati will go down. And guys have never spoken about this. And that's how it has been for the last three years. I can assure you, most of these artists, yani, ata nilikuwa, nilikuwa adi na recordings wa kichochwa, you know, and, ino ya shindu mtu ni memsaidia. Adi ya naambuwa sasa, create, enda mpasho, they will write about this, and they knew my biggest, the biggest, my biggest weakness was najua ni bahati mtoto wa mama you know wewe uh, ni mpole hata jibu so we toka mtukane and we we have contracts that i was capable of suing the artist but bahati ni mkristo and that's how imekuwa wanaenda wana trend mimi nanyamaza at times, when I need to go, I need to go back. When I get wrong, I need to go back. At times, I need to because I've always learned that it is not every fight that is worth fighting. Because in the case of Kamo Lisaidi Amutu Adu Mampea Chakula, you know, I'm like your dad. So fathers don't fight sons. And they learn to be quiet. Nakuja, na trend in a pita. Wana wana si jibu. Wana ingililia Diana. You know, Diana is not in the industry, but she is in the public eye. Wana kingoja ajibu, ajibu. But of course, God has a way, and God always had a way of taking whatever stones tunatupiwa tunazitumia for our good right now diana is followed the, more than at a 90% of the gospel artists that were creating this you know she is hitting a million just from ku create our stories za uongo and i learned to stay quiet you know nakaacha inapita but now in 2020 i thought about this deeply you know when nimetulia and nothing was happening sababu sikutaka ni react when sijui natukana left right and center right now when things were cool i i i requested god to make this decision and uh, so today i made one of the toughest decisions and that is i am closing you know, I'm closing down EMB record label. And by closing EMB record label, you know, manisha, you know, I'm officially terminating all the contracts I had with the, with the, with the, with the artist. And that is wisdom, uh, Deno 
and other new artists that I was to support in 2020. Uh, who was a new artist from the Rift Valley? Why am I doing this? Ningependa Pia, you the fans, and everyone watching this to understand that, you know, even though Nime go a big loss, but first, as I said, to me this was ministry. And what is the point of doing ministry while the same ministry in a qua translated the wrong way always in a qua a bad name you know is there any need to do this sababu frankly speaking right now as we speak in the country in Kenya, I have become, for the last, you know, a year or two years, I've become one of the most talked about artists. And if I can call it, Nimekuole artist and I receive a lot of hate, you, you, you get. Despite being up on top and all that, but receive hate Simbaya. But what is the need of Mimi could receive hate from the because of the people I have created from scratch? You know? Because every artist Nanda Kum support, even when I'm I'm starting to support them, no one cares. In the gospel industry, today I'm very specific in the gospel industry, no one cares. But the moment I make them work with something, and instead of repaying back with thanksgiving, they create stories. And I, I, I state this, if we understood this, they create fake stories to trend hate. So at the end of the day, while my fans were introduced, come at our Julikani, you know. Wanna convert wale watu okwe my biggest haters. What is the need? Do, as in, you know, even when I was praying for this and asking God, let me do this. And I'm doing it with a lot of peace. Because even the book of Proverbs, chapter 22, the Bible says, a good name is better than silver and gold, you know. A good name is better than riches. So I don't understand uh, if e ministry angu ya kusaidi yanga artist if wananiachana a bad name is there any need of me, you know, doing it? And guys, today I'll be very true to you guys. Uh, you know, Sababu, my fight is not in the Kenyan music industry. It's in the gospel. The people who feel, Kwanini Bati and Akwa successful. Kwanini and Nandalea. Kwanini Niaki let them sunny and a hit. Nasasa Juayo in Akwa. In some way, in effect, even the people that you know, I'm supporting. I'm genuinely supporting. Guys, let's be you know, let's be true to each other. I took. I took Deno when Deno was at the verge of you know losing it, and in what position by? Your position, I won't need anything important for life. You, you, you get. Do you ask me to commit suicide? I'm finding in your depression. That's the same position. I literally took the no when I was taking him back to the industry just a few months ago. 
guys, Deno is blind. Deno needs to feed, you know, Deno needs to feed a family. Deno has a child. Deno has a life to live. Deno needs money. And the same, same Deno, nothing was working in the music industry because the music is expensive to produce, it's expensive to do videos, it's expensive to promote them, you know. I took Deno, God by God's grace. Nika try, nime push, I come back. You know, Deno jakuwa every anywhere for the last one, two years. Who knew Lise, you know, the fans? Deno came back. I even tried my level best, you know, at a time that I had no money. Let me tell you guys, there are times I lack. Kama Bahati. You understand? Indio sa nime murudisha, nime try ku fight Arudi, nime munulia kagari. Deno was back with a hit. Bado. Guys, none of these guys in the gospel industry, none of them posted Deno. Kabisa, everyone ali gno ni kama Deno was nowhere. Guys, you know what I'm speaking about. But right now, Deno akienda jinyonge. Everyone will be like, Deno, you are a good guy. Deno, and even I, before I took Deno for the, for the, Almost two years, Deno had never received a call from the so damn called gospel industry. I'm talking about the industry, not the gospel. The gospel is Christ. But this is a messed up industry that it's calling itself the gospel without the gospel in it. So right now, Deno is back. Deno a metua song yabado, a metua testimony. You know, thanks to Indomie, they supported his, his new song the other day, Nakupenda. Guys, none of this gospel industry of Janao, I say, Akuna mtu wame post. Why? Because these people, the same way uchukua amati sinasain, wawachoche, wana feel, if they post, they know we're successful. It's as if they're helping me. No. Bahati, me, me, blessed. Me, the fans have been supporting me. I make my own money. Ile kidogo niko nayo. Pesa ya deno ya wisdom ya any artist onye ni mesaidia. I was in this idea. But they have never supported this guy. But no one be leo. Deno leo akatoka se me bahati ya mepanya kitu. Everyone will be supporting him. Simuli wada juzi huu kijana nilitu wata itataveta akiwa watchman. Yani kijana ya tindi wali nipeleka kotini, but the moment ha mepelekwa kotini, juu kesi ili mugeukia. Yendi wali niandiki ya baru ya lawyer. All of a sudden, everyone ana post, oh, this is not good, but he did not. Uyo mtoto nili mtu wataita, nimi mtu wa watchman. No one ever posted his song at us and unaimba vizuri. Wickedness. And pretend, the Bible says pretenders are worse than murderers. And the fans. And let this get to the fathers of the industry, if wako. You know you guys, Munashanga, Gwanini, the gospel, let, let's say the truth, the gospel industry is not doing good. It is not going, doing good. That's what I will yell it to It is not doing good. Gwanini. It's because the Bible says, whenever two or three agree in my name, I'm in their midst. People are agree in the name of God. In the gospel industry, you can what will, 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 what And you're waiting for us to make hits like this? <sighs> Guys, genge to nita take over kabisa. Because ataka wamevuta banki, they have something they are agreeing with. And God is blessing that. And I'm talking to you so-called gospel artists. It's time you wake up. I believe after this corona, let's go back to God. Yani, we, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. Nimemaliza EMB. If that's what nimekuwa nikifaiti wa kuyusu. Nimemaliza. You, you, you understand? 
then my ministry goes on. My ministry is about giving. That's the idea right now. Naimaliza God amenipe a new burden. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a children's home. Very soon, it will up and running. My biggest vision is, you know, to, to take as many street kids as possible back to school. That's my new ministry. I, I want to take kids that I don't expect. No. But I'm You just fought this vision. God gave me a bigger vision. Vision yangu kusaidia mati siku ya wawili watatu wakifika wengi wakumi. My children's home will carry more than 2,000 kids. God has given me a bigger vision. But it's time we go back to God. It's time we go back. The Bible says if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, I will come down and show myself unto them. Let's pray so that God can show himself for the gospel industry. Hii chukiyote tumekuwa nao ni ya nini? Uposti deno. Deno is blind, guys. Hata usipostie wisdom. Ama nani. Achana au vijana. Deno is blind. Au mposti. Na, sorry guys. Let's differentiate between pride and, and confidence. I'm confident in the Lord. Let's start with that. Sasa wewe umposti. Sao. Na mimi mukiwa mukishika na watu 20 ni followers wangu. Mimi nikimpostia mimi peke yangu ni kama artist 10 wa gospel wamempostia. Let's cut that crap and go back to God. So guys, I don't know where I don't know where th this wickedness is it okay. You know, I'm not perfect. Uh, me me ni, ni mwenye dhambi anatafuta perfection and that's the meaning of salvation guys you know but unajua kuna vile watu wanaweza kuwa wicked hadi you know at times we live as if there is no god unajua ku post inspirational na, na bible quotes kwa instagram si kuogoka mimi na wish watu wengine wa gospel vile wana post bible kila asubuhi ingekuwa wanaishi hivyo saa hii gospel industry ya saa hii tungekuwa tume win grammys na nini but kama kama huyu mtoto atatetaveta mimi nilimtoa kwa gate kabisa yani no one knew him hata hizo miezi zote nimekaa naye na mbayanga chakula nguo anaishi yani nikao uko na kabibi kingine kando hakuna mtu hata asishughulika kumuuliza i remember it's only dj mo mwenye ashe kuja tuko hiyo ofisi peke yake mwenye ashe niambia huyu mtoto hii mmente hivi because hata kuja kuwa anajua ati kuimba uh, we took a lot of time, you know, fighting for, for a skill. But all of a sudden, I was able to get a lawyer. But I was able to get a lawyer. I was able to get a lawyer. I was able to get a lawyer. I was able to get a Guys, I wish Mpasho na easy blogs zingine. Na wish I was able to get a lawyer. I was able to get prison break. But sasa shida amuna jela yenyu. So naona mungu duwa menyeka hapa. Mwezi ni maliza. So saa hii huo mtoto muliandika kila kitu munichafue. But right now he has a name that is owned by EMB Entertainment. He cannot do any song on YouTube. He cannot sing until, until ni terminate the contract. Ama it terminate formally. And that means returning the 2,039,000. But say mo na mudanga nyoko inje. Sasa say he is nowhere. No one writes about him. Oh yeah. Mo na mi kwani na imbano atu wa gengeton akima fans. No na mo na elewa. Because you know God and a bless. Vele tun baybo ina sema when two or three yani waki waki come together na wa agree in His name in the name of Jesus. God and a coming in and a bless you, kid. You go, we, na, na feel at peace, Niki Mba na Odua Moranga, and Anyambia, you know, Mamango Ali feel poor. Na feel poor Niki Mba na Major, Mwenya Ananyambia Aki, 
mimi nye ba na try i want to do a clean verse but ni rusu ni veveke he is true rather than singing with a gospel artist mwenye amevalia gozi ya kondo and that's why we're not getting blessed you know sorry to say this but angalia why kwa nini gruva wazilisha sababu keva aliona fakeness yetu as gospel artist and he was like siwache ni invest tu kwa NRG radio at least ju akifanya deal na calligraph ama sauti soul they are real bana they are like bro we have agreed we have agreed can we be real guys tunaweza kuweza kujificha in the name of the lord can we be real wase one of the toughest decisions i had to make right now at a secret release wisdom was to release deno this is a guy when you need you know i i nilikuwa naamka asubuhi na pray god na uliza god what can i do what next nifanye nini deno and the next level but you know what ile jealous na hate na rushiwa iembiwa kidhani na saidika deno anakuwa saidiwi only a few people are supporting deno in the gospel industry a few and that's why i have to release this guy na hope tu mtamsaidia ju at least na hii jina jina kidogo mumsaidie please bahati atakuwa na any artist ju ndio kani limlaunch hivyo vyote watu walimpost ni secular artist you know the secular industry can now support something that was born of god more than the people that call themselves god people it's not biblical so hakuna mtu ashe post ame amerudi guys from kesho mkiona hii video matist of gospel mchukueni mpostini you know for me this special they know you ni special kwangu no one thing I'll, I'll continue doing he's not under contract uh, I, i didn't think it was right to, to do a termination on camera but just know he's not i have no artist under imb but as bahati i'll continue paying for his audios for his videos this year during especially during it time ya corona had a questable and uh, you know I'll do the best I can to support him as a friend now you know but that is you come and right to say my if you eh I I just want the best for this guy and even as I promised before one thing I have to do for the family the wife the knows wife is still thinking of a perfect business to do especially after a pandemic so i'll be ready to finance that as as for bahati guys from now and forth i'll not be signing any artist pengine in 2021 2022 when god brings back the grace but for now uh any time i'll be you know i'll be doing an official launch of bahati Bahati Tena Foundation that will be dealing majorly with you no know, street kids and orphans and I, I I just want and request everyone you know that has been supporting Bahati I know kwanza mmekuwa na mmekuwa na one side of the story it's because at times you know the bible says in the book of Exodus that be calm and i will fight for you i've always believed in you know god doing the bigger fight god fighting for me and that's why i believe that's why bahati has never gone down despite all these stories zenye nimekuwa na jengewa left right and center that's why bahati amekuwa bado hapo it's all by god's grace and then continue doing god's work as a saved person 
I may not do things as a gospel industry person, but a saved person, because I do it for God, for Jesus, not for the gospel industry. I love you all, keep praying for me, and I believe we're just starting. The best is yet to come. I love you all. God bless you.